we're going to be working on simplifying fractions that have different denominators. Now, what we need to do when we have two different denominators is to create a common denominator in order for us to put the fraction together and simplify. Now, that's all we're going to be working on. Now, if we take a look at question number one, we have to simplify a over 2 plus a over 3. Now, as you can see, the denominators are two different numbers. Okay, So what we need to do is to create that common denominator. So how are we going to do that? Now, take a look. My first fraction, a over 2, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator both by 3. Okay, So I'm going to multiply them both by 3. And this fraction, a over 3, I'm going to multiply my denominator and my numerator both by 2. Okay, So what does that do for me? Well, as you can see, if we kind of simplify it down, now they, have a, they both have the same denominator of 6. Okay, so what that means is I can put it in one single fraction. So let's do that. Okay, and you can see 3a plus 2a is obviously 5a. And so my simplified fraction in this case is 5a over 6. Okay, so we just put it in the common denominator. So let's jump straight into question number 2. Um, the expression I have to simplify in this question is a over 3 plus 2a over 5. So again, we have two different denominators. So how are we going to simplify this question? So let's try and change the denominators around to make them the same. Okay, so I'm going to multiply my denominator and my numerator in my first fraction, both by 5. Now in this fraction, I'm going to multiply top and bottom both by 3. Okay, so again, what does that do for us? Well, we can see now they both have that same denominator of 15. And now we can just put the fraction into one single fraction. So 5a over 15 plus 6a over 15 is simply 11a over 15. Okay, so this is a very simple question. Okay, so again, we're just getting the same denominator so we can put it in a single fraction. Now let's move on to the next question. Now number three, we have to simplify the expression a over 6 take away 3 over 2. So we have a uh, minus sign now and nothing changes. We're still going to be doing the same uh, method of getting the same denominator. Now I'm going to leave my a over 6 this time, but I'm going to change my fraction um, over here. Okay, so watch what I do. I'm going to multiply my denominator and my numerator by 3. Okay, so the reason I didn't change the first one at all is because my goal here is to get that common denominator. Okay, so once I do that, then that's it. So now we do have that same denominator of um, 6. They both have it now, which means I can put it in one fraction. So a over 6 take away 9a over 6 is negative 8a over 6. Now let's go back to the question. We need to simplify. So we can simplify this uh, even further. Okay, so how do we do that? I'm going to cancel my 8, okay, and I'm going to cancel it down to a 4. While I cancel my 6, I'm going to cancel that down into a 3. So my final simplified answer is negative 4a over 3. Okay, so that was question number 3. Now, moving on to question 4, we have the expression 3a over 10 minus a over 6. So, let's do the same method. We're going to make the same denominator. So, what I'm going to do is break my 10 down. Well, not really break down. We can just rewrite 10 as 2 times 5. And 6, I can rewrite as 2 multiplied by 3. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because it's easier for us to see um, how these two denominators are different. Okay, so this allows me to do this. I'm going to multiply my denominator and my numerator in this fraction both by 3. Okay, while I multiply this side both by 5. Okay, so as you can see, 2 times 5 times 3, 2 times 3 times 5, we have the same denominator. So if we simplify it, they have the common denominator of 30, meaning I can put it in a single fraction. So 9a take away 5a is 4a over 30. Can we simplify any further? Well, yes we can. I'm going to cancel my 4 and I'm going to have a 2 while I cancel my 30 and it's going to come down to a 15. 
okay? So that will, uh, if I want to rewrite my answer in a nice clean way, it will be 2a over 15. Okay, so we've been simplifying fractions that have different denominators, and what we're going to do is make the same denominator or the common denominator.